Series for Brad Frost, one of those teams just did well by William Plantisel. And then the lightning round is over. Are you ready? Ski daddy, time for the lightning round. Chris, we're going to start with Joe in New Jersey. Joe. Hi, Jim. Love you, Joe. Joe. Always very informative. Thank you. What's up? Um, I'm getting close to retirement, and I have about 25% okay. of my retirement funds in Berkshire Hathaway. What do you think will happen when the inevitable and the warrant? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. I know that the man runs an unbelievable company. He's got fantastic people underneath him. I say stay long, Berkshire Hathaway. And you go to John in New Jersey. John. Yes, uh, Mr. Kramer, Erica. I just want to let yeah, you know. Yeah, that's that. me. My friend Emil and myself have been watching your show for so long, and we love it. Anyhow, oh, like thank you, thank you, Jeff. Off, uh, which is trading around the 52-week low, plus has a good dividend, which is VFC. Well, VFC, I've got to tell you, that's good dividend, but that's because the stock's fallen so much because they actually did cut the dividend. Dividend. I think Benador is doing his best, but I got to tell you, VF Corp. I don't like apparel, and I certainly don't like that. If you need apparel, I'll go with Ralph Lauren. I need to go to Roger, Minnesota. Roger. Hey, Jimmy Chill. Say, I have a question about Tesla. I've owned it in the past. I'm looking to get back in. Um, it's topping around the 200 level here. Is this a good spot? Or do you think I can get yes, it Yes, I do think it. I, look, I think the, the company's got I mean, I was listening to Phil Lebeau today. I mean, it's unbelievable. They are one and two in California for EV. I think that they've got the best product. I say stay long. Tesla. How about Paul in New York? Paul. Oh, we are, Jim. Great to talk to you. Thanks for taking the call. Uh, My of course. About, Thank you for calling. Uh, Thank you. Teva Pharmaceuticals, T-E-V-A. I have it in nothing an IRA. Distinguishing. I... No, 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 no. Sell it in the IRA. There's nothing that's distinguishing or... or I, it's not irredeemable, but there's no reason to be long at te, Teva. None. I actually like Tesla more than Teva, but it's not a drug company. How about Jerry in California? Jer! Yeah. Bueno. Hello, Jim. Hello. Um, I wonder... About McKisson, is that a hold? Get out of it now. Oh, no, really no, that company just prints money. I mean, they really do. They just print money. I mean, it's like unbelievable. Let's go to Bill in Georgia. Bill. Bill. Well, I'm Bill. Mr. Bill. I'm Jim. Yes. <laughs> Jim, great to meet you. Fine. They've been watching you forever. Love the show. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you for all that you do for us. We appreciate it. Oh, thank it. you. Hey, so been enjoying watching the market turn and feel confident about what's ahead for our friends in, in IT. Great news by NVIDIA this evening. Outlook is pretty bright, I think, for LAM research. But when you look at the different growth areas from AI to enterprise, enterprise data center, cloud, et cetera, all of that needs to land somewhere in high-performance global shops. So I wanted to get right. your thoughts on Equinix. Uh, Equinix, look, this is a tough call because some people feel that there's going to be a pullback in data center spending. Other people feel there's just the, the endless uh, roar of e-commerce. Me, I think the stock's up a lot. doesn't offer that much of a yield. I think I'd just say, eh, hold it. Good chart, though, I have to admit. Let's go to Daryl in Tennessee. Daryl! Hey, Jim. I want to thank you for all the work you do for us listeners. Uh, sure do try, have... Daryl. Sure do try. The stock I have today right. is Gilead Sciences. Uh, you know, it just it just doesn't do anything for me. It's just not doing anything interesting. They don't have the new drugs that I want. They don't have the, 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 the great trials going on. I say go with Eli Lilly because of Mujarno. Much better situation. Let's go to Steve in Pennsylvania. Steve. Hey, Jim. Booyah. Yeah, Booyah. I'm from Pennsylvania. Al, you're a Marine Corps veteran. I'm a longtime listener and a first-time caller. Thank you for taking my call. Well, thank you for serving. I What's know, going God, on? What's your take on EQT? Ooh, EQT. You know that Jeff Marks and I addressed that. We had this home stretch program uh, at two, around 2 o'clock, and I've got to tell you, that is a great. If you think that's what gas is bottom as I do and Ben Stoda does, it's time to. Bye, bye, bye. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the lightning round. The lightning round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, Starbucks may or may not be on the verge of an olive-powered transformation. But Kramer's taken a lesson from the alchemy of Schultz and shares it next. 
Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.